Hi everyone. Now, I've got a lot of important information that I wanna try and give you and try and explain clearly. Uh, over the last week, I have been experiencing a really significant energetic shift and upgrade as have all of you. And also some really important messages from the angels about what we're moving through collectively right now. So this message is for all of the star seeds, all of the light workers. There is a really significant shift and energetic experience that we are moving through right now. And I want to give you some context for this, for how this might be feeling for you. Uh, the, the experience that we're moving through is unlike anything that we have ever experienced before in this lifetime or in any other lifetime. We have no memory of this. We have not done this before. Our light body, higher self has memory of what we're moving into, 5D consciousness, 5D frequency, but in physical form, in human form, we have not done this before. There's no map, there's no blueprint, there's no memory, there's nothing. So as of December 21, we've moved into something new. So this is gonna feel for all of the star seeds and for all of the light workers at times like you don't know what you're doing. There's no rules. <laughs> uh, all of the rules of being human, of being in a physical body, of understanding how this works, none of them apply to this situation. We're in unfamiliar territory. So how do we navigate that? This is a very fast expansion. This is a mind, body and spirit, mind, body, spirit change that we are moving through now. Uh, we are cycling through energetic change, physical change and consciousness change. So at times we'll be experiencing an energetic upgrade, then a physical shift of some sort, and then a consciousness shift of some sort. One of the things that the angels explained to me is that this doesn't necessarily happen in that particular order or one after the other. It can happen in any order and all at the same time because there is no time. There is no past. There is no future. There is no present. There is present. <laughs> and um, every human who is experiencing this is experiencing it in a different way that is right for them. This is so weird. Um, all of the ways that we have expanded and upgraded in these shifts previously don't apply anymore because we're in a completely different frequency now and our understanding of what's possible and how to move through these shifts doesn't apply. So, so there's more. Um, physically, we're experiencing uh, tastes of 5D energy. So uh, feeling really super connected and really high vibrational and really being able to see past the veil and the matrix and any of our own 3D projections, limitations and so on. And then at other times um, you might find that you feel really flat or you feel completely exhausted, absolutely completely exhausted and really, really tired because your body is recalibrating. This is something that the way that the angels have explained this to me, this is kind of blowing my brains a little bit, is that we are literally conscious of and being aware of evolving we're physically evolving now humanity is physically evolving now so it's not just a consciousness shift it's not just a frequency shift it's a physical evolution that we are aware of moving through right now uh, i was shown that we are this is happening on a cellular level this is happening on a dna level as the energy changes and shifts are cells and molecules need to recalibrate. And if anything, what the way that the angels showed me this is that oh, it's softer here and there, there, there's more room and it feels easier vibrationally. So our physical body is no longer under such intense, um, dense compression. And of course this happens on every layer of our physical experience. So our cells are literally reorganizing themselves and at the same time and i don't i'm just going to say this as this has been coming through our dna is changing and this has come through before and i've shared this before but our dna is changing something is changing 
our junk DNA is coming online now. There's no junk DNA, right? As if all of, all of that aspect of our DNA is junk. Something is changing and it is activating now as we move into a higher frequency, okay? How do you move through this? How do you move through this experience on a day-by-day -day basis? One day at a time. Uh, there is no rules. There, there are no rules. There is no roadmap. Um, there are some guidelines that I can give you from the angels. Um, this is not something that you need to push through. This is something that you need to soften and allow into. Uh, this is happening so fast that you don't need to do anything. I can assure you, you can, you know, it's going to happen no matter what. This process is happening no matter what. Uh, at the same time, the matrix, the false matrix is starting to crumble, okay? And as the false matrix starts to crumble, the veil starts to crumble and we are able to see through it, there is <clears throat> the true energetic structure that supports us, which is infinite. I don't even know how to describe this underneath and beyond this false matrix that we have been operating uh, through all of human experience through is the infinite, infinite energetic structure that is organic, that is a, um, it is the energy of love in form. So the energy of love in form that creates all things, that creates stars, that creates planets, that creates butterflies, that creates birds, that created you. There is an energy that is everywhere. There is a structure that is everywhere. So as you become aware of your own experience of this matrix crumbling and um, disappearing in front of you, Remember that there is an energy of the infinite, of the divine, of the one creator that you are able to now see and feel and allow to support you. There is a strange overlap period as we move through that. The veil is still here. It has not completely gone. So we are in this, like we can feel it. We know it's happening, but we can't, we haven't clicked through that sh complete shift yet. Um, what I want to share with you, I'm going to try and do this. I've tried to draw a picture of what I've been shown. I don't know if this is going to work. So let's try. I want you to see this graph, okay? This graph is the process of the increase in frequency and the awakening that is occurring. This line across here is the veil that we are about to bust through. We have not cracked through it yet. It is starting to fracture. These fractures are evidenced by all of the uh, ways that the collective is trying to hold on and control in our world right now, okay? Anyway, where you are noticing projections of control that are actually becoming kind of like desperate measures, this is the old 3D structures that do not have our best interest at heart attempting to stop the collective mass awakening that is about to break through the veil, okay? So all of the things at the moment that look like uh, oppression and really intense control are actually last desperate, very desperate measures that are indicating that everything is about to come tumbling down. The house of cards is about to fall. We are here. We are right before we bust through that false matrix and veil. All of the star seeds and light workers can feel this. We've been on this pathway from our very first incarn incarnation. We know this is happening, but at the same time, we are still unable to fully see past this veil and matrix. We're getting glimpses of it, energetic senses of it, visions of it, but we have not got it's still here. We're still, we're still experiencing consciousness from this perspective, which is there is a veil, there is a matrix, okay? Now, everything that I've just said, what do you do? How do you move through this? Now, I'm gonna try and explain this. This is you, that little love heart, my darling light workers and light beams. 
this pyramid is the structure that the angels have guided me to share with you to be to work with on a daily basis in meditation envision yourself protected by a pyramid of light okay that's step one step two is to imagine a pillar of light this is a, this is i don't i think i need this anymore imagine a pillar of light pouring down all around that pyramid structure within that container of support from the divine all you need to do is let go and have faith and do this every single day switch off from mainstream turn off the television turn off the news be really discerning about what you let into your energy field right now the most important thing that you can do is hold faith with the vision that you feel and that you see and that you know is occurring right now because it is and we are about to bust through. The pyramid will support you to block out any of this really um, dark uh, energy that is being projected towards all humans right now. The light is sourced and activated by you in your light practice, which is everything that allows light to pour through your heart chakra and through your being. The most important thing that you can do right now is hold really powerful energetic integrity to stay in the light. Why? Because I drew this here for a reason. Your light impacts the collective. You holding that really potent light frequency right now is the most vital and most important thing that you can do to support the collective human consciousness busting through this false matrix and veil right now. You literally, like if, if your life depends on it, any time it is now, and I don't mean in a life and death situation, I mean like this is why you are here, this is your mission, this is the moment, the moment where you need to unhook from all of the self-doubt, all of the limitations, all of the fears that everything that you want to happen might not be happening, to actually trust in the guidance that is so powerful that you can channel through you and the vision that you feel in your heart. You've had this vision your whole life. You've known that you've had a mission your whole life. This is that moment. This is the moment when you need to activate white light all around you in the most potent and powerful way that you are able to in every moment, in every day. It does not have to be perfect. You're still human. You've still got a life to lead. Just do the very best that you can. Switch off the television. Don't watch the news. It's all bullshit. Allow yourself to be guided by your sovereign truth in your heart. Follow the guidance about what are the most important activities and actions that you need to participate in now in order to be radiating in the highest alignment that is possible for you to be anchoring this light now into Mother Gaia. It is a little bit weird right now. There are two realities and that is really strange and you still have to somehow navigate with all of the people who uh, do not see what you can see. I acknowledge that. I find that really difficult at times for myself. You're going to have days where uh, that's really present for you. There is still light and love available to you and it's okay to have human moments where you feel that, where you feel the collective pain and grief of what is occurring in the world or when you just need to rest and you feel really tired. In fact, sometimes that's the most important thing that you can do is to allow yourself to move through that. We're unhooking from 3D now. You are unhooking from 3D now. You are being asked to embody what 5D means to you in the way that you see it and you feel it. There is infinite support and power available for you to access from Mother Gaia and from the angels. You will receive this when you're in nature. The most important thing that you can do right now is spend as much time as you can in nature because you are literally being recharged by this energy, this current that created all living beings and it's accessed in nature. I'm going to leave it there. Share this with anyone who needs to hear this message. Thank you and I love you.